Gangs in Cedar Rapids gets your attention right away. And some families in neighborhoods that are close to downtown say this is now a very serious problem. They say teenage boys are terrorizing the streets, robbing, jumping, and beating innocent victims. Chris Jones is live in Cedar Rapids right now with the latest on what's happening. Chris? Well, Jack, slowly victims of senseless acts of violence are stepping forward and speaking out. They say enough is enough. They want to take their neighborhoods back so they can feel safe once more. Two young men, both victims of random beatings on Cedar Rapids streets. Is there a gang problem in Cedar Rapids? There is definitely a gang problem in Cedar Rapids. Of course there is. Everyone knows it. Everyone's seen it. The first time. I don't want to go into detail, but I almost lost my right eye. All I know is that three guys came up from behind me. I didn't even hear them. Uh, I got tackled to the ground and my head hit the pavement. Neither of them want to show their faces on TV, afraid someone might recognize them and cause more harm. But they say the violence has to stop. I think it's time people started coming forward because, like I said, the more we keep our mouths shut, the worse it's going to get. Both men say the crime comes from the same group of teenage boys. They usually go by t-shirt color or what they're wearing on their head. Usually it's red t-shirt, blue t-shirt, white t-shirt. And Cedar Rapids police confirm they know neighbors are concerned about the so-called white t-shirt gang, a concern these two young men know all too well. It's traumatic for everyone. Now, as far as uh, what police are doing in response to this, well, they are taking a big step very soon. This building here on the corner of 15th and 1st Ave is soon to become a police precinct. I spoke with officers today who say that they are going to finalize plans on this building uh, later this week. They will house police officers, housing, zoning, uh, code enforcement. Hopefully uh, that they can have a positive effect on the neighborhood. Neighbors say they are looking forward to that change. Now, as far as the gang problem, police did not go as far as saying that was the case with these white T-shirt uh, boys. But certainly the incidents this week have hit home for so many people. Reporting live in Cedar Rapids, Chris Jones, Fox News at 9.